let's solve for a b and c okay now this is how you go about it we have that 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c is equal to 148 now let's multiply and divide the left hand side of this equation by 2 to the power of a so if we do that we are going to have 2 to the power of a multiplied by 2 to the power of a this is a sorry not 9 no b 2 to the power of c divided by okay divided by 2 to the power of a so that this we cancel this you still have this back is equal to 148 now we can now rewrite this as what 2 to the power of a multiplied by 2 let me give you space a bit so this implies that 2 to the power of a bracket um 2 to the power of a over 2 to the power of a right plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a all right um is equal to 148 now we can now write that um 2 to the power of a okay multiplied by this same thing as 1 plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a all right is equal to now let's factorize this since we have two factors this side let's factorize this and bring out two to the power of something is equal uh, multiplied by something okay just like we have here now if we factorize one four eight okay now if two divide this you are going to have 74 now if you two divide this again you are going to have um the two divide this you have 3, 3 remainder 1. If you divide 14, you'll have 7. So definitely, we are going to have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 37. Okay. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 37. Now, let me stay this side <laughs> so that I'll be more comfortable. If this is the first time you're coming across this lovely channel, please don't hesitate to click on that subscription button and on your notification bell. Yes, please do it now before you forget then also try to like comment and share okay now back to what we are doing on the board so we can notice that we have 2 to the power of a and this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 37 so notice that this is going to give you even and this is even then what you are going to have here will be odd and this is odd so by comparison we can say that 2 to the power of a is equal to 2 to the power of 2. I'm trying to be fast. I don't want this video to be long at all. Okay. And this side, we are going to have that 1 plus 2 to the power of B over 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of C over 2 to the power of A is equal to 37. So we have the same base here. So this implies that our A is equal to 2, right? Yes. Once you have the same base, just automatically equate your powers. So let's go ahead and solve this. Now, in this case, we have what? Um, this can be written as, let's transfer this plus one to this side of the equation, yes. And if we do that, we are going to have that, what? Two to the power of B plus two to the power of C divided by what? Two to the power of A is equal to what? This 37 is going to be 37 minus one because when one... Uh, plus one crosses this equation it becomes minus one so this implies that let me bring my hand this side that two to the power of b minus two to the power of c divided by recall that we have found the value of a to be two two to the power of two is equal to 36 all right so we now have we cannot make this statement that two to the power of b minus 2 to the power of c is equal to that is if we cross multiply is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 36 okay perfect so let's continue now we can write that 2 to the power of b minus 2 to the power of c is equal to 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by let's factorize this further if we do that we have when 2 divides 3 we have um one will remain that one. If we divide 16, we have 8, right? Now, when 2 divides 18, we have 9. So, we are going to have 2 to the power of 2 times 9, right? 2 to the power of 2 times 9. Okay. Now, let's continue. Permit me to clean this because we don't need it anymore. 
So this is what we have. We are going to repeat exactly the same thing we did here in the first side, where this side. So what did we do? In this case, we are going to multiply and divide by two to the power of B. So let's do that. We have two to the power of B multiplied by two to the power of B minus two to the power of C divided by two to the power of B is equal to, now we have the same base here. When you have A to the power of X multiplied by A to the power of Y, that is you have the same base. All you need to do is you pick one base, then you add the powers x plus y, all right? So we are going to do the same thing here. So if we do that, we will have that this is equal to, we are going to pick one base since they are multiplying 2, right? Then 2 times 2 will give us, 2 plus 2 will give us 4, multiplied by 9. Okay, so um, this can be written as 2 to the power of b, open brackets, 2 to the power of b divided by 2 to the power of b minus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of b is equal to what? 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 9. So we have 2 to the power of b bracket. This will give us 1 minus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 9. Also, by comparison, all right, you can see that 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So this implies that 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And 1 minus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b is equal to 9. Perfect. So we have from comparison here that our b is equal to 4. Okay. Then here, here, Let's transfer this plus 1 to the other side. It becomes minus 1. And if we do that, we have that 2 to the power of C over 2 to the power of B becomes 8. All right. Now, let me come to this side of the board. Permit me to do that. Permit me to do that. Recall that we have solved for A and we got A to be equal to 2. So, let me write it somewhere. We got our A to be equal to 2. Now, this is what we have. All right, I have a clear board now. So, we can now say 2 to the power of C divided by 2 to the power of RB is 4, right? Is equal to 8. So, we can say um, 2 to the power of what? C minus 4 is equal to 8. Why did I do that? We have the same base and they are dividing each other. So when you have a to the power of x being divided by a to the power of y, according to law of exponents, just pick one a, then subtract the powers, all right? So you'll have x minus y. So the same way I had to pick one base and I had to subtract the power c minus 4 to give me what? To be equal to 8. Now, we can now write that. 2 to the power of c minus 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Yes, because 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So this implies that we have the same base so we can equate the powers. That c minus 4 is equal to 3. So from here we can see that c is 3 minus 4 we cross to become plus 4. So our c is 7. Therefore our a is what? Our a is 2. Our b is... 4 and our C is 7. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.